Self-driving automobiles are no longer a dream of the future. Uh, the Minnesota Department of Transportation is testing self-driving buses that could carry commuters one day. The buses are being tested in Minnesota right now because of our diverse climate. Proponents of this technology say the buses cut down on traffic and they are safer than a normal car. WCCO's Kate Raddett shows us how they work and what it would take to see them out on the road. See, the vehicle has no steering wheel. They don't look like the buses you're used to seeing, and they certainly don't move like them either. So an autonomous vehicle is actually able to operate on its own. MnDOT showed off their new self-driving bus program at a research center in Monticello. It's just a test run for now. They'll be looking to see how the buses handle the snow and ice that come with Minnesota winters. This is not California on a beautiful sunny day. Um, and so we're going to learn from this pilot testing as well as try to advance the idea that this is the future. Commissioner Charles Zelli said the autonomous buses are not about replacing drivers, but they would be safer. 94% of our crashes that we track are due to uh, operator error. And I know as a driver, when you have better technology to help you prevent accidents, that's a good thing. The plan is to continue to test these self-operating buses until at least April of next year. But there's no timeline for what the next step would be. But you can take a ride on one for free along Nicollet Mall in the week leading up to the Super Bowl. So that will be a very exciting time. Um, I would encourage all to come down and experience uh, the, the future of uh, transportation. The need for additional public transportation will only grow as officials believe the population of the Twin Cities Metro will double by 2040. With the test bus, it only goes about 15 miles per hour and carries around 15 people. You saw it was a little smaller there. But the hope is that someday it would expand to keep up with other public transit buses, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, one step at a time, I guess. Yeah, so they got to test it. I get why they're testing them here. Are they testing them other places around the country? Yeah, well, I looked around and I saw that there are already a couple of places that have them, including in Nevada, Michigan, that both launched this year. Oddly enough, there was a self-driving bus in Las Vegas that crashed just two hours after it launched, but uh -oh. it was only a fender bender and it was the other driver's fault that said that the bus did try to stop okay. to prevent it. So they're so. actually in use there. Yeah, they're oh, actually, they have ones that are already in use. So we're just, we're, now it's our turn to test them. One of these days. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kate. Yep.